In tonight's Reiner Report, security escorted State Superintendent of Public Instruction Tony Thurman off the floor of a local school board meeting last night. It comes after he spoke out against a new policy that would force schools to inform parents if their child is transitioning. Our political reporter Morgan Reiner joins us now. Morgan, the policy was adopted? Yes, Laura, the school board did adopt the policy, and Tony Thurman tried to speak for longer than his time allowed, and he was quickly shut down. Guys, this is just the latest in the clash between the state and the local school districts. Parents packed into Thursday night's Chino Valley Unified School District board meeting. The first speaker is Tony Thurmond. Superintendent Tony Thurmond spoke against a proposed policy that requires schools to disclose to parents if their kid is transitioning. To consider this, that the policy that you consider tonight not only may fall outside of the laws that respect privacy and safety for our students, but may put our students at risk because they may not be in homes where they can be safe. Time. But he is cut off after Time. one minute. Time. He walks off, but Sanja Shah followed up. Tony Thurman, I appreciate you being here tremendously. But here's the problem. We're here because of people like you. You're in Sacramento <laughs> proposing things that pervert children. So he walked back to the podium. May I have, as a point of order, as the board no order, this is not your meeting. You may have a seat because if I did that to you in Sacramento, you would not accept it. Please sit. Can I get a point of order? You're not going to blackmail us. You can see two security guards walk up to Thurman, then two more surround him, and he's escorted off. Mr. Thurman was granted more respect and decorum than I ever have been by the supermajority Democrats in Sacramento. Republican Assemblymember Bill Saley spoke right after. He introduced a bill to do what the school district did on a statewide level. They would not even hear my bill because they said it was too hateful without even having a conversation. Dozens of speakers later, some prefer a dead child to a trans child. The board passed the policy four to one. Tell Sacramento to back down and then I'll back down. <laughs> Just last week, Newsom and Thurman intervened in another school district that voted not to include supplemental material because it included the name of a gay rights activist. The state went ahead and purchased the material anyway for the students, guys. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Thurman said their policy may not be legal, right? Can we expect more action on his part? If there is any indication that what the school board did last night is against the state law in any way, you bet Tony Thurman is going to try and do something. But last night, the state president, the school board president that you heard from several mm -hmm. times in this piece, she said and continued to quote this, the district attorney saying that what they are doing is completely legal.